In my previous React video, I explained the concept of prop drilling in React, where you pass props from one component to another child component to another child component to different nested child components until you get to the destination. I mentioned how this was not good practice as it makes your applications difficult to maintain. And one of the solutions I mentioned to solving such problems is creating global state using the context API in React. In this video, I'll be simplifying how the context API in React works in combination with the use context hook. Also, this video is going to be the part one of a new series I'll be creating here on my channel, which is React Hooks Explained. In this series, I'll be explaining different React hooks and how to use them. But for this video, let's jump straight to use context hook and the context API, and I'll be using an example to explain how this works. The use context hook returns the current value for the context object that you pass to the hook. This context object that you pass to the hook provides state data that you want to share across different components. So from any component, component you can use the use context hook pass the context object and then that component would have access to the current state in your application before i go further to show you how the use context hook work let me give you a recap of the code that i used in the prop drilling video that i mentioned earlier so i have this simple react project and then this app component has to pass this loading state and then this on submit function to the button component but because the button component is not a direct child of the app component then we have to actually drill props so from the up component, we pass props to the layout. From the layout, we pass props to the form. From the form, we pass props to the button. And then this is where the button finally uses those props. So the button receives an is loading prop and an on click submit prop. If the is loading is true, we're going to show loading. If it is false, we're going to show submit. If the is loading is true, the disabled is going to be true. Else the disabled is going to be false. And for this on click submit function prop, this is going to be called when the button is clicked. And then you can see how we pass those data from the form we pass it from the layout down to this app.js it is in this app.js that we have this loading state and this on submit function that is actually called when the button here is clicked so you can see how we actually drilled props through these several components until we got to this button and this is how it works here so when you click on submit you have the loading state true and after two seconds the loading state is false but as i mentioned in the prop drilling video this layout component doesn't need these props this form component doesn't need need these props but it has to receive these props because that is the only way we can get it from app to layout to form to button now we can use the context api and the use context hook to solve this by creating a global state that each of these components can assess if they need it so how do we do that first we create the context object using create context and i'm just going to assign this to an app state variable and here i call react.create context and then you pass a default value i'm not going to pass any default value here now how does the layout component the form component or the button component have access to this context object well this is where you use the provider component so in this app state context object you are going to use the provider component and as the name implies you are basically going to provide some data to every child that is inside the provider component this is for every child and even every grandchildren every nested child will have access to the value that the provider provides but then what value do we want to provide this is where we specify that with the value prop so here in the value prop you specify the data that all of these children are going to have access to and one data that we want them to have access to is the loading property so here we're going to specify loading and another value that we want this children to have access to is the on submit so here again we're going to pass the on submit so for the app.state context object it is providing two values which we have in this object the first one is the loading value and the second one is the on submit form Function. Now, any of these children components, since they are nested in between this app.state provider, they can have access to these values and they can do whatever that they want. We do not need this anymore, so we can just clear it off. For the form, we do not need this anymore, so we just use the form directly because here the form doesn't need those props. So I'm going to just clear it here from here. For the button, we don't need to pass all of this anymore because the button can directly reach out to this app.state and get that data. So from the layer out now we don't have the props for the form we don't have the props even for this place i'm going to remove all of this from the layout here so now the button is no longer going to receive these props because it doesn't need it from the parent component what this button component is going to do is that it's going to directly reach out to this context object and then these values that we 
we provided it's going to retrieve it and use that value for anything that it wants and this is where we use the use context hook so right here i'm going to import use context to use the use context hook we can assign this to a context variable and then we say use context and the argument for this use context hook is going to be the context object which we declared here this is the context object so how do we get this context object here in the button component then we have to export it so i'm going to export the app state here and then here i can import it by saying import from app.js and then here i'm going to import app state so then i pass the app state to this use context hook like this now we have this context and then from this context we can get the loading state and we can also get this other function that we passed which is on submit we can get the on submit function like this so when the button is clicked i'm going to pass on submit which i have retrieved from the context object for this disabled i'm going to pass the loading state and then here i'm also going to change this to loading if i come back to the ui and i refresh when i click on submit you see the loading state still works after two seconds we have the loading state turned back to false but what did we do here with the use context hook and the context api we did not have to pass this loading state and this on submit function to the layout pass from the layout to the form pass from the form to the button until we got here we did not need to drill any props all through these nested components until we got to this button instead directly from this button we we're able to retrieve the context that we have declared here which serves as a global state and then we can retrieve the values that the provider provides which is the loading property and the on submit method and then here we can use it directly if for any reason we also want the form component to use that context data we can do the same thing here so here i can say context is equals to use context and then i'm also going to pass the app state which is from the app component and then from this context i can get the loading property which is equals to context and here i can just say if loading is true i'll write form is loading else else form is not loading if I come here and I refresh, you can see form is not loading because the loading state is still false at the moment. But then when I click this button and this button calls the on submit function from here, this on submit function is going to set the loading to true. So if I come here and I press submit, you can see form is loading, the button is disabled and two seconds later, form is not loading, the submit button is no longer disabled. So this is how we use the use context hook with the context API to create some form of global state that different children components can have access to but you also have to know that only the children between this provider components would have access to the state if you put this layout component above here let's say I have a div like this if you put it like this this layout component no longer has access to the app state because it is not a child of the app state so if you want it to have access it must be a child this is the use context hook in react simplified for you if you enjoyed this video give it a like and also subscribe for more simplified content like this and look out for more react hooks i'll be explaining in this series